Hey guys, my name is Daryl, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing SiteGround Hosting. Now in this review, I'm going to be reviewing the price, the performance, and I'm also gonna show you how to set up WordPress with SiteGround. Now I've actually purchased a shared hosting account with SiteGround, so in this review, I'm going to be revealing my results of what I found out about SiteGround, and I'm also gonna show you how they ranked against seven other competitors. Coming up. So first we have to recognize SiteGround as one of the official recommended hosting by WordPress.org. Now they're not just recommended for their speed, but they're also recommended for their customer service. These guys will actually help you with any problems you have with your website 24 hours a day. So that's pretty cool to know that you can just call them and they'll always be there to answer your questions and help you with your website. Now, in addition to this, I've actually recorded their performance on their hosting plans for around 30 days. Now in this plan, you guys need to look for consistency. So are they consistently performing well? So here are my results. And you guys can see right here, their web server to respond time is very low. So every single day right here, they're performing really well. And that's good because you know a lot of days, other servers might have spikes, but actually putting SiteGround up to the test, they actually performed amazingly. In fact, I have another video where I compare SiteGround against seven other web hosting companies. Now in short, I purchased a shared hosting account from seven different competitors and SiteGround came up as number one as the most fastest and the most reliable after testing their performance for around 30 days. Now let's go ahead and take a look at their plans and prices. So there is a link in the description. It'll take you to this page. Now right here, I'm gonna go ahead and click on choose plan. So like most companies, they have three different plans. They have the startup, the grow big and the go geek. I recommend the grow big because with the grow big plan, you can host unlimited websites rather than just a single one. Now, in addition to this guys, you also get free SSLs. Now, the reason why you need an SSL is because Google just released an update saying if you don't have an SSL, they will actually push you down in rankings. So SiteGround actually knows this. They will actually offer you a free SSL. And they also give you free daily backups. I mean, 30 copies, that's just nothing short of a made. That's a lot of uh, backups. You don't have to have 30, but they're just showing you that um, they will actually you know, back up your website. So if anything happens or if someone hacks your website, not to worry because they can always back it up. So right here, I'm gonna go to order. All right, so go ahead and put it at a domain. So I'm gonna put, um, you know, that's the, that's the domain we're putting in right now. All right, so I'm gonna go to proceed. Hopefully no one's taking that domain, so no one's taking it. So right here, you put in all your information, your payment information, your client information, but I wanna talk about the period and also the extra services. Now, I recommend doing 12 months because with 12 months, you avoid the fee. And also remember, there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you don't like the service for any reason. If it does not work out for you, not to worry about it, you can always get your money back. Now, for the extra services, they have something really cool, the SiteGround Site Scanner. Now, other web hosting companies, I haven't seen this, but SiteGround will actually watch your website every single day and notify you if it's been hacked or if anyone has injected any malicious code in it. Now, I recommend getting that. I have it. It's better because, let's be honest, you know, I've waken up before and my site was hacked where I had like letters saying you've been hacked. It's happened to me, guys. So uh, security is definitely the most important part of your website. And they also have domain privacy, which is actually you know, most people get this. So it basically hides your personal information if someone tries to search you up. So I have both of those on my SiteGround plan. All right, so once you guys get this, you guys go to pay now and I'll show you how to install WordPress. So this is my current cPanel right here. So after you basically get your domain and everything else, it'll be brought to your cPanel. So it'll look like this right here. I'm gonna go ahead and log in. All right, so right here, I'm gonna go to my accounts. Now guys, I really do have, you know, hosting with SiteGround. So right here I have, you know, my my cloud account and also my Grow Big account. You know, one thing I hate about other affiliates is that when they talk about products, they don't really own it. They're like, yeah, go ahead and buy that web hosting. It's like, they don't even use it. You know, I, I've seen that a lot, but I personally use this service so I can vouch that it's very good and very fast. So once you guys go over here to your, your accounts right here, you guys can click on your hosting and go to manage account. All right. And then right here, you just go to go to cPanel. Now you might have nothing here. These are all my domains. So right here, I'm gonna go to proceed. Now I'm gonna show you all how to install WordPress. Guys, it's very easy to install WordPress and have a website running up with SiteGround. So right here, auto installers, just click on WordPress. Pretty simple. So this is like the, I think it's, I don't know how to pronounce this. Sophoculus, I, I don't know, Sofa, yeah, whatever. So you need this right here. So uh, once you're here, you have this little install now, just go to install now. 
Now you're gonna look for your domain. So you're gonna go ahead and find your domain right here. So whatever domain that you used, that you signed up with, you're going to actually find it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select mine. I think I'm gonna select, let's see, is it right? I think this is it right here. All right, now for the directory guys, do not put anything there, because remember, if you put something there, it's gonna install your domain at you know your website.com dash that. So you don't want that. So make sure nothing is there. Your site name, you can always change this later, but you know, for tutorial sake, I'll put Paddywhack. So Paddywhack, the best dog blog, and then right here, you put your username and then your password, your admin email, change that to your personal email. So whatever email you use and you have access to, put it right there. Select the language. So go ahead and put your language right here. And I think I actually got another video where I had this like debate if Chinese was like, I said, why is it Mandarin? It should be Mandarin, right? But I guess Chinese is the correct term, not Mandarin. So thanks for those viewers for clearing up. So right here, I'm gonna do English and scroll down here. Now, all you need to do now is go to install. All right, so go ahead and click on install. All right, so WordPress is installing onto our domain. This takes about, I'd say about a minute. They say it takes three to four minutes, but it's actually much faster than that. So guys, don't refresh this page. If you guys refresh the page, it might mess up or something might happen. All right, so WordPress is successfully installed. So you guys can actually view your website by clicking on this little link right here. And voila, congratulations. You have your new domain with SiteGround and now you have WordPress installed. Now also right here, they have a really cool plugin for SiteGround. Right here, you have the Purge SiteGround cache. Now, the reason why this actually works better than other plugins, because it corresponds to their servers. Basically, they designed a plugin that actually works really well and it's compatible with their own servers. So right here, you can actually destroy all your cache really quick to speed up your website all the time. So let's go and take a look at my websites. Now this is using like a basic theme, but um, you know, let's go ahead and just, uh, let's go ahead and browse around, you know? I'm just gonna go ahead and go to add new. Let's go to popular. Now I have no idea about any of these themes. I haven't used many of these, but um, let's just go ahead and take a gamble here. Which one, you know, let's go to do a new one. You know, let's go do the, like the latest. Let's, let's look at the little guys. You know, these guys are actually, uh, you know, there's always room for potential, you know? So I'm always looking for like good themes, you know, cause I do a lot of WordPress tutorials. So I'm always looking for like nice looking ones, but um, yeah, I wouldn't use any of these, but <laughs> that's just my opinion. Shop and commerce, that looks cool. Let's see here, um, let's just go to the popular ones. Let's just check out the popular ones. So we'll just install Histia. Histia is actually uh, pretty popular. They just made it, uh, ShopAll made it, and I gotta be honest, like it's actually really growing in popularity. So now you can take a look at your website, and then you can actually decorate it. Like this theme actually uses like a, um, a front end page builder, which is really cool. So if you go to customize, you can actually design the websites from the theme customizer right here. So like this right here controls like front page sections and you know, it's really cool. So like I said, they, they're really, they're a really good company. So, um, you know, that's, you know, that's basically, that's basically the tutorial guys. So, um, you know, I really recommend SiteGround because again, I use them personally. I switch over my domain from HostGator to uh, SiteGround because their cloud hosting was just blazing fast. Like it was like seconds and it was just amazingly fast. So I truly recommend SiteGround because again, I can vouch for them. I use their service personally and they are definitely one of the fastest, if not the fastest web hosting company. Now, for those of you guys who wanna know what cloud hosting is, it's basically like a higher performance hosting. So basically my websites, I want it to run extremely fast. I, I don't want like an, a second of delay. So I actually get the cloud account and there I host my current domain, darylwilson.com. But the grow big is also ideal. So if you guys are just starting out, not to worry. I mean, I have like, hundreds of thousands of visitors on my website. So I have to make sure that, you know, my website is optimal. So their cloud hosting is nothing short of amazing as well. So thanks for watching this review guys. I hope it's help. And I hope you made the decision to switch over to SiteGround. Again, you will not be disappointed. It's amazing hosting. All right, so I'll see you guys all later.